The surgical table is an OR-specific piece of equipment. In this film, the table, its adjustments and accessories will be discussed in the context of patient positioning for surgery. Where appropriate, a model was used to demonstrate patient positioning. The components of the surgical table are the tabletop, as well as the table column which can be mobile or stationary. It is important to note that the length of table seen here is comprised of a table base as well as attached accessories. In addition to the lower back plate, there are two leg plates as well as an upper back plate and a headrest. Movement of some of the parts of the table is reliant on electrohydraulic motors. For this reason, the table should be connected to the main socket to charge when not in use. When the table is in use, the power cable should be unplugged and stored safely. Adjustment of the table is via remote control. The remote control should also be plugged into the main socket and charged when not in use. Do note that not all controllers are wireless and those with wires will automatically charge when the table is charging. The remote control's interface uses words as well as pictograms to identify the function of each button. Pushing the unlock button releases the brake at the base of the table and allows for the table to be moved into the appropriate position for the surgery to be performed. The table can move freely as now shown. Once in the correct position, the table wheels can be locked. To avoid injuries to staff and the patient, this should be done each time the table is moved. The remote control can also be used to adjust the height of the table. This allows the surgical team to work in a manner that is as ergonomic as possible. With a discussion of the up and down movement of the table, it is important to also note that the table has a maximum weight limit of 450 kilograms. The table's control panel is housed in the table column and has the same function as the remote control. Apart from moving up and down with the table column, the tabletop can also move horizontally along the column. This changes the position of the tabletop relative to the table column. Horizontal movement of the tabletop allows the patient's body part that is to be screened to be positioned appropriately for use of the C-arm. A number of accessories can be mounted to the side of the table to aid with patient positioning. The accessories are mounted onto side rails found along the side of the table using standard or radial setting clamps, as now shown. The mounting of some examples of accessories will now be demonstrated. Here, the awake patient model has just been transferred to the surgical table and an arm support is attached. The patient's arm is placed on the arm support with care taken not to stretch or compress nerves. If needed, additional padding may be placed between the patient and the arm support. With the patient in supine position and the arm supported, additional accessories can be added to the table depending on the procedure to be performed. Arm straps may be used to secure the patient's arm to the arm support. Leg straps may be required to fixate the patient's legs to the table. Take note of how the straps are positioned proximal to the patient's knees in order to prevent flexing of the joints, especially during emergence from anaesthesia. The safety straps are also used to prevent the patient from slipping from the table when its orientation is changed during surgery. For example, with the head down or Trendelenburg position, as well as the head up or reverse Trendelenburg position. Safety straps can be used when left tilt or right tilt are anticipated. Take note that whichever position the table is adjusted to, the zero or level button can be used to return it to neutral position. Take note that the direction of tilt is described in relation to the patient's left and right. Sometimes surgery requires that the patient be positioned in lateral position as seen here. For a more detailed elaboration of how the patient is placed in this position on the surgical table, refer to the course Patient Positioning. In this film, it is important to note the use of additional surgical table accessories to support the patient in this position. 
Besides the foam wedge placed on the table and additional arm support, body supports are placed on either side of the pelvis to keep them in lateral position. First, a body support is attached behind the patient at the level of the sacrum. Once safely attached, it is then adjusted to optimally support the patient with care taken not to cause pressure complications. The second body support is mounted in front of the patient at the level of the pubic symphysis, again with care taken not to cause pressure complications. Movement of the table into certain positions can be programmed to occur with the push of one button. For example, the kidney position, where the middle of the table is flexed, keeping the button pushed results in alternating movements that bend the lower back plate. These slow pre-programmed movements allow the patient to be positioned safely without injury. Once the required degree of table flexion is reached, the button is released and the movements stop. As with the lateral position, body supports may be required to maintain the patient in this position. Another table position that uses the single push function is the Fowler's or beach chair position. Holding the button down results in movements of multiple parts of the table. For this reason, the movements are shown without the patient model on the table. Take note of the slow, controlled, alternating movements designed to flex the patient's hips and position them in an upright seated position. <laughs>